Welcome back, Wolfpack, to the channel. My name is Finrear Black Wolf, and in today's episode, we are going to be fighting the Silver Hand. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Rifton. Might consider joining up myself. I've never considered him a Dawn Guard member, but anyways, um. So we are going to Faldar's Tooth. Um, it's right here. So we are going to take a carriage to Riff. And yes, um, we could walk there. But for the sake of the video, um, we could just take a carriage to Rift and discover. Well, uh, no, not discover Rift just yet, but. <clears throat> I haven't even done anything in Rift tonight, I don't think. So I went ahead and I lowered my any settings. Um, so hopefully no more stuttering. For the most part um no more stuttering no more lag um i because i i think i had it at the highest settings and i think that was lagging out my game so i went into bethany and i lowered it um and i'll i was i tweaked some things right i tweaked some things uh to my liking and stuff like that so not everything is default settings. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Uh, I would like to go to Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that, and you'll forget all about the long trip. So how are you guys enjoying my playthrough? I would really like to know. I'd really like to know. Are you enjoying it? Questions, mods, whatever. I'm more than happy to answer them. Now, in turn. Rifted, Jewel of Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure it is. I've got to get out of here. Oh shit. Ah, no! <laughs> I was wondering what that was, and now I know. Oh my goodness. You know what now? Oh shit. A thousand. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I was wondering what that sound was. That was the moon howling to me. I totally forgot that growl has a set percent chance of you turning into a werewolf in cities. I totally forgot about that feature. Totally forgot. So I need to get out of there ASAP. You know what? What time is it? Yeah. 
And it was a full moon out, too. Hell shit. Well, you know what? When life gives you lemons, sprint fast. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Ripton, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all about the long trip. So I need to get out of... As soon as I... Yes, as soon as I... Get to Riften, I need to... Skadoodle skedaddle. What do you need? You just need a skadoodle skedaddle. Where, where am I going? Not the most ideal place, but it'll do. Bring a little bit more light on the subject. It's not ideal. Little fox, run. I think I remember doing a location walkthrough on this ages ago. You saw nothing. Where do they all go?
claw the eyes out of you, fool. I'm trying to get him aggroed. Can't see where the enemy is at if the bandit chiefs. So I did change out the music a little bit, so you have a little bit of a variety of the previous Elder Scrolls games. Damn it. Shit. So I uh, downloaded a compendium patch or a compendium mod overall of um, the various different Elder Scrolls games of Daggerfall and um, Arena and Oblivion and um, Morrowind and uh, obviously Skyrim is No survivors, damn it.
Oh, it's Orton Shield. I think this has a like a very back yeah this has a very deep back dark backstory to it basically speaking the uh the the chef um was like oh yeah like if like was basically complaining about um The, uh, well, this journal explains it. Meat, 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 meat. That's all they ever want. I made them some nice grilled leeks and they threw them in my face. I told them if they bring me some vet, fish or vet venison, I'd cook it up. But all they do, but all they ever do, do is waste their, their wages at the ring. But maybe there is a way I can get them some meat. Come on. Nothing here after all. So, yeah, he was cooking dog meat. Hello there. <laughs> Should be checking these guys for cure disease potions. Oh. Didn't look like anybody, any of them had them, anyways. Didn't want to pick that up. Someone there. Oh, that could have happened at the wrong time. So much gold.
Where does the other way go? I can't remember. I should reflect on what I learned. Well, sure. In a minute. I think they, oh, I forgot some potions. Oh, thank goodness I came back here. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Doesn't go anywhere. Ooh, archery increased to level 7. That's good. Ow. Oh, but you did an arrow to your face. One good home.
they got that secret magic. Can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold. I heard a wolf. Huh. Guess I was just hearing things. Go. Ooh, a potion of extended invisibility. Get wrecked. All hail the Lady of the Twilight. To the glory of her name, we have been granted the task of establishing a new shrine in this place. Falder's Tooth will become a beacon of despair for unbelievers. We shall rebuild these ruined towers as a memorial for her glory to work all. I'm not going to worry about it. So far, so good. The performance hasn't been too bad. No, not a lot of stuttering. I think I fixed the problem. Hopefully it stays that way for the rest of the playthrough. And I don't have to change anything. I still have to fix the wolves aggro, though. I don't know what mod is causing that. It's a moon out. The moon out. Is the moon out? No, good. Okay. <laughs> Do you hunt? Plains outside White Run are ripe with game. Mm.
I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think uh. anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. I got the fragment. Another piece of glory. Good work, shield brother. What's the next target? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around Hyalmarch. If you can sneak into their camp and steal his plans, we'll have the advantage. Cool. Orthheim. Here's one. Orthheim. I know where that is. I literally did a location walkthrough on this. Shouldn't be too difficult. Most part. Bruh. Where are you fucking bear? my life.
Sneaky, sneaky. No. Oh my goodness. I might just do Kodlask Funeral as well. Because I'm almost done with the companions anyways. Uh-oh.
Might as well sleep the night. What time is it anyways? In uh, Skyrim. I have not a clue. It's one, okay. I've been... Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? I've got the plans. Perfect. Hopefully this will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlac's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. I was the new companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I. Show you the ropes. What? Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. I hear you've been busy of late. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Bilkis said it was a curse laid upon the ancient companions. The boy has a nugget of truth, but the reality is more complicated than that. It always is. So what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. The witches didn't lie, of course, but it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsin for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord. And I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there a way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Am I do to do this alone? You shall have no shield, brother, this time. But the spirit of Isgamor goes with you to restore the honor of his legacy. Talos guides you, lad.
since I already discovered the location. Oh, hello.
Bruh. Fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Embrace the word of mighty Talos, he who is both man and I ain't divine. done nothing. The These two aren't hand. a problem anymore. Finally had the nerve the to attack your bastard. Man. We got Please. most of them. I think a few stragglers made it out. The Silver Hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your bastard. These two we got most of them. I think a few stragglers made it out. Where have you been? I was doing Kylax bidding. I hope it was important, because it means you weren't here to defend him. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your Vasker. We fought them off, but the old man, Kodlak, he's dead. Was anyone else hurt? No. But they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. Make them bleed. Don't leave any of them alive. And we, not the elves or their ponies, will rule. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds.
So the closest place is Dawnstar. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead. I can take you. Where do you want to go? Climbing back and we'll be off. Get up there. Excuse me. Die, you 
All right, in we go. Time to kill some things. Um, Shit, I'm gonna die.
Someone there? Ah, that I started the Great Column Nocturnal mod. How funny is that? Another 
day, another victory. Part of time. Let's get back to your Vasker. It's all in the swamp. Good fighting to you. <clears throat> and yes, I know I need to level up. But let's go attend Kondalek's funeral. Then nothing bad happens by then. Another quiet day, I hope. You ascended, and the eight became nine. You walked among us, great Talos, not as God, but as Let's get back to your Vasker. We'll want to pay our respects to Codlax's spirit. The others have probably prepared Codlax's funeral by now. Come up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. Start. I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We, we grieve. grieve. We, we grieve. grieve. At this loss, we, we weep. weep. We weep. 
for the fallen. We, we shall shout. And for ourselves. We, we take, take our, take our leave. leave. His spirit is departed. Members of the Circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Yes. Careful with those. Don't want even more fragments, do we? Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kadlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. I'll be here. Hello? I log. Bruh. There we go. <laughs> In my dream, I see the line of Harbingers start with Isgamore. Each of them ascend to Savangard until we come to Terfig, who first turned us into the to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Savangard, but before he can ap even approach Sun, he is set upon by a great wolf, who pulls him into the hunting grounds where Hersin laughs with, with welcoming arms. Terfig seems regretful but also eager to join her scene after a lifetime of service as a beast then i see every next harbinger turn away from sovereign guard and enter the the hunting grounds of their of their own accord until it comes to me and i see great soon on the misty horizon beckoning me it appears i have a choice and then my side a stranger i have not i had not seen before as i took as i lo look into his eyes we turn to see see the same wolf who, who dragged away tearfig and he and he and i draw weapons together i realize this is only a dream but a strong enough dream 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 to inspire a man like me me, me to take to write no oh, to take to writing so it must be of some importance I spoke, I've spoken of my thoughts to the circle, Withhold, withholding the part about the stranger, lest your wor worry I will no lo longer seek his counsel. And I was not surprised to see him tor torn by it, see them torn by it. Skewer and Ailer are strong, strong in the ways of the beast, and even see, and even seem to suggest that, that the hunt, that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife. It were truly a choice. Vilka seemed tr most troubled. The boy is f as fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart fire heart's fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived, and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, I, but I believe he, he will come around with me and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about Skewer and Ayella. 
I know they ex they respect the companions and me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday, Vilkas te was telling me how difficult it had be been for him to give up his transformation. Until we can pursue a true cure, the twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. For me, it pro it's provided a clear head, but Vilkas seems to be, a be suffering a bit for it. Farkas seems completely untroubled. That boy continues to amaze with with his fortitude while vilkas w was confiding though though through the shadows of your vasker i saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our numbers it was the stranger from my dream the one who who would stand with me against the beast vilkas began speaking obliquely uh, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guests, and I ha had to to doubly to be doubly ca cautious to not reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer, while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vilkas. I don't know how the the pol the politicians deal with these sort of th me machinations da daily. In any case, I sent Vilgus to test the newcomer. We'll see if he tr is truly the great warrior I dreamt of. The newcomer, it seems, is made of, of decent stock. He calls himself Draco, and also already impressed some of the cir circle with his metal. I still keep keep my own count counsel on his, on his place in my dream, for now. Let us see what kind of destiny he is carving for before hitching to him in the meanwhile i i look for ways of cleansing my blood the writing and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory i don't wish to engage in wizardry on this matter but i fear they may they may be the only ones who bet best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge and apparent it's apparent to me now that tear fig's choice to turn us to turn us was indeed a mistake magics and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirit of the companions we face our problems directly without the need of such trickery i could only hope to guide to guide us back to the truth path to the true path of Iskomor before the before the rot takes. Draco continues to impress. I don't know yet where he will stand on the question of the blood, but the question has not been presented yet. He does know that he we, that that we carry the beast blood and appears curious about it. Soon enough, I can explain our troubles and hopefully we and hopefully see what role he will play i am amazed i'm amazed that aella thinks she can keep a secret among the drunken rabble especially with the law lo the loss of skewer my heart aches emotions are are fraying and the walls of dis of discretion of discretion are are the first to fall discretion 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 apparently she and Draco are waging their own separate war against the Silverhand in retaliation for Skewer's death. Their hearts are noble, but the co course of vengeance is running hot, and I fear the counterstroke that may come if they and I fear the co the counterstroke that may come if they don't do not rein in their fury. Draco shows valor, though. Even in this more underhanded time, uh, underhanded time. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. We have not not had had ca cause to speak much, and that is some something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for his destiny, and real, and I realize that that his appearance in my dream may indeed mark him as the harbinger to succeed me i have received few dreams over the course of my life but when it comes but when they come i have learned to trust them i have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart which 
tells me that Draco can carry the Companion's legacy to as truly as any residing in your Vasker, especially with the loss of Skewer. Ayala is too sol sol solitary, Vilcus too fiery, and Farkas too kind-hearted. Only Draco stands as a true warrior who can keep a still mind and amidst the burning heart of these burning hearts. I will not speak to him, him of in, any of this, though. It is too much, much to burden another with. My hope is that he and I can can keep counsel over the coming years, that I can impart the wisdom of, of the har harbingers. All things in in time. Firstly, I will seek the assistance in the matter of the witches of Glamoral. It would appear that our path it, path the cure is not without some poetic justice for the fixtures who first cure, cursed us. Okay. That was a that was a fucking novel, man. Why why not? Might head down to the meadery later. See what they're brewing up. They can smell the honey on the wind. You're back. I have Codlex Fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Bruh. Just when I thought thought that the lag was done. He had one wish before he died, and he didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkis. That's fine for you, but he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlack, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Wuthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother here. The flames of Hero can reforge the Shattered. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare cool. to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. All right, well, I will meet them there after the uh, next episode. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the uh, East Gamora. No, let's take a look at it. Oh, my God, it does 40 damage. 
Does the fish? Uh, hell yes. Uh, hell yes. Yes, indeed. Anyways. All right, so I'm going to save it right here. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Sorry for the longer episode, but I just wanted to get all of that out of the way because I don't think it would have made sense for me to... Um... Um... I, I didn't think it would have made sense for me to just leave the episode as just one silver hand quest. So, um, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and as for the feedback on performance, I unfortunately can't do anything about it. I've tried everything. Um, you know, but thanks for the suggestions. Um, I... At this point, I just need a new computer. I think that's the issue that I'm having because um, I could change Bethany. Like if you're not familiar with the Bethany mod or the tool, um, I put it down to like low settings and, it, and I'm still lagging. So that just goes to show, you know, my, the, the, the limits of my computer, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. Um, but I'll uh, catch y'all later. Um, have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.